Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, there were many of you who wanted a tutorial on how this uh, pages for uh, this Mon Amour photo album was uh, made. So um, I've uh, filmed the basic of uh, the uh, pages and uh, this uh, photo mat in surfs and also uh, some uh, fold outs and uh, flips and so. so um, just to give you some suggestions how uh, you can uh, build up a page with uh, flips and fold outs and so. So uh, I showed uh, this uh, how uh, this was made. So when it flips up and uh, maybe show you here so you know what you are going to get in this video. So here I made a um, flap with uh, some magnets under so you can use magnets if you like to. And you can insert some photos here and also show the pocket under here so there's no pocket under this page but I just showed how you build it up so I will also give you some suggestions how you can uh, build it up with a quarter inch and also uh, one eighth of an inch so it depends on how much you put inside here so I can maybe show you the other pages I also filmed will also show you how you can make this uh, fold out uh, flap here, uh, this uh, double uh, page here, so that folds out both ways and that's uh, this uh, page here, so. and um, then I also uh, show you how you can make this uh, secret uh, pocket here, so here you can add a lot of uh, photo maps and tags and so and uh, yeah, let me show you. So that's uh, this uh, page here with a flip here. So, and uh, there were also some of you who wondered how I bounded this uh, album to um, uh, the bottom part here. So I will show that also. And uh, here you can see the difference. Here it builds a bit more up because uh, this page is going to fold over first. So then we get, need a bit more room here than on this side here. So it depends. Uh, bit how much you build your pages up so that you have to measure when you have finished uh, decorated them. So uh, I decorated all my pages finished so I knew how high they were and then I attach them together. But if you don't want to make this uh, gate fold here or uh, accordion fold uh, I also show you how you can uh, attach all the pages to one side so then you don't need so much uh, room in between. Yeah, I can also show you uh, when you cut uh, this is six and a half uh, inch uh, high and then you cut your pattern paper a bit uh, smaller and uh, then you don't get two of one page so you can uh, make your page six inch uh, high also if you want to cut the paper in uh, the 12 by 12 in two and use it all so I will explain that uh, as we go but uh, if you make it as, it as this, you can always use uh, this also with a border under. I can maybe show you on this side here. So then you can attach a border from the paper line or just build up a scene if you like to. So then we will start the tutorial and I hope it will be helpful and that you maybe can use uh, some ideas. So I will uh, start with a, a pocket uh, page uh, first. And then we are going to make some double insert for it and then I will show you some flaps and uh, fold outs. So uh, uh, here it says uh, page front but it doesn't matter, you can take it on the back side also. And this you can make any size you like. So this will be a 9 by 6 and a half um, page and if you like it to be 9 by 6 you just cut it down a half inch. So this is cut at 9 and 3 quarter by 7 and a half. And if you want it uh, 6 inch uh, wide here, you just cut it at 9 and 3 quarter by 6. And you can also make it shorter. So just uh, remember to add on a half inch here on each side. So you, if you take it 6 inch wide, you cut it at 7. That's 6 plus 1 inch here. And also uh, add on um, for the hinge here, 3 quarter of an inch I'm using here. So then we will start scoring this at 9 inch and then we flip it around and score at um, 3 8 of an inch 
and a half inch. And here you also, if you don't put so much inside, you can just score at a half inch. But I like to have it build up a bit since I'm uh, adding on a double photo mat inside. So then we score at seven and seven and one eight. And uh, all these uh, measurements I will uh, post on my blog, all that I show in this uh, video. So I will post uh, the link below. Just click show more and uh, you will find the link to my blog. So then we can cut off uh, the excess here. And I have two X here. You can cut out just this and fold this inside if you like to have a stopper, but it's not uh, necessary. So I will cut it all off. So, and I like to go a bit on the outside of the score line. So. And I forgot to tell, it can be good to, uh, when you score from the front on these sides, it can be good to flip it around and then score at 9 inch on this side here, because that's going to fold the other way. And um, here uh, it's just paper so it can uh, tear or when it's uh, used. So I like to have some tape or some vinyl or anything strong. So just add that over here. So this tape I could have taken on before I cut out the ends here. So just cut it off. So then we can start uh, folding it. So this is going to go up this way here. And then we are going to fold uh, both these score lines in. And also this side here. So that will give the pocket a bit of room. So, and also for the other side. can also cut a bit off here, not over the score line, just this here. So then we need something on the other side here. And here I've cut out um, a nine and a three quarter by six and a half. And then we are going to score it at nine inch. So, and fold this this way. So here you can see I have already taken uh, some tape on. So, so then we can glue it uh, together. So then we fold this all the way up. So you see the line here on uh, the front. So then we take some glue. And here I'm using uh, Scotch uh, Quick Dry Glue. But you can use any glue you like. Uh, score tape you can use or anything. So I've just taken it over this fine tip bottle and <laughs> this is really great but the company has gone out of uh, business but you can get uh, some similar at Simon Says Stamp and also at um, Tupelo Designs. So then we will start to glue it together. So then I take uh, glue over here. And then this is now folding this way and this is folding the other way and we'll line it up all the way to the end. So, so. And press well down here. So and then let it dry for a minute or so. So we're sure it's uh, well glued down and then we are folding this other line here up. So you can see the line here on the front. And then we do the same here on the front, you see the line here, and fold this up. And then we are going to glue it together here. So now be sure to have this good down when you glue it. So. And if you are a bit on the outside, I was a bit here, you can just uh, cut it off. Was a half millimeter here, I think. And I just follow the line of the other page here. So, 
then we can open it up and then you see it's room for uh, a photo mat inside and it builds up a bit. And also on the other side here, just fold it back a bit. So, so this is uh, the page uh, base and then we can make an uh, insert for it. So here I've cut out nine and uh, one quarter by six and a quarter. That means it will be a quarter inch shorter than the pocket. And then we are going to score at a half inch. So and then I like to cut off the corners a bit also. Just so when you take the paper on uh, the inside decor paper that uh, it won't show up on the top. And we will fold this in. And uh, for the other side, it's uh, eight and three quarter by six and a quarter. So now you can glue them together if you like to, or you can make a tab on the top. So I can show you how I made uh, my tab for the album. So here I've uh, taken a piece of paper and scored at one and a quarter. So. And then I will use uh, this template here, so I'll line it all the way up to the top. I also can glue it together here first, if you like to. So. And um, line it up. And just draw around on the sides here, on each side. So. And then you just uh, cut so. so I've already cut out one here. So then we can glue this on the inside here. So take some glue on this one on the inside of the flap here. So you can place it anywhere you like to. Just try to eyeball it in the middle about. So, that wasn't straight at all. <laughs> Lift it up a bit. And then we can glue them together. the double uh, photo mat. So here you just can take one, uh, uh, just uh, take this uh, here and uh, just make a topper for it if you like to. So we can put this inside and see how it looks. So And also be a bit precise when you glue them together, hold it here and glue it here so they meet up. So then we can take this inside here. And now you see it isn't a stopper here, but when we bind it, it will stop automatically. So, so then we can make some uh, fold outs and uh, flaps uh, for it. This is um, the first page on the front. I had a um, pocket and a flap here. So uh, here I've cut out uh, 12 by 7 and 1 uh, quarter. And then we are going to score it at... Uh, two and seven eight and at three and one eight and that builds up one quarter but if you don't want uh, this to build up so much you can score it at three inch and it's three and one eight but I am going to have a pocket under here so then we need some room here and then we also going to score it at a half inch and at three quarter of an inch. And here again you can score at um, uh, five eighths of an inch and a half inch if you don't like to build it up so much. So it depends on uh, how much you put uh, under. So all the red lines here are the extra if you don't uh, build it up so much. And that goes for all the pages. 
So then we can cut off a bit here. So we can cut off this corner here a bit. And um, yeah, I forgot to, to tell if you want uh, this uh, or just as a pocket, not as a flap, you can add a hinge on here. So I can maybe show you how you can uh, make that. So I can take this uh, paper here. <laughs> Score it at a half inch. So I just cut it off. You can cut it at one inch and score at a half. And then you glue this on the side here. And also save uh, this here as a hinge so then you can fold it in so it's a pocket. But I'm going to cut it off. So then I will uh, cut this in an angle in here and also cut all the way down I think yeah so you cut it here if you want uh, the hinge on and here if you want it as a flap and straight down here so so then we can fold it a bit and again this you can uh, score from the back side so so then we fold this down and this down and uh, this is then going to fold inside so fold it this side and this side so now this creates uh, the top for it and uh, so it will fold up. We can maybe glue it down on one of the pages here. So then we take some glue on the back side and we see. I did forget to cut this a bit. So, so I fold it all the way up here. And glue it to get it this one so you can see the score lines here. Take it to the first score line here. all the way to the end so you can maybe see on the end it gets uh, one eighth of an inch um, room on the side here so so and it folds up this way here and then we can make a pocket for it and this I've cut at uh, seven and a three eight by a three inch and I scored a half inch all the way around so now we can cut off in an angle here more maybe and also a bit here and fold this in Let's see if they meet up on the back side so if not we can just cut off a bit more so then we can uh, take this inside here and glue it down. So and then I go a bit from this score line here. A bit from top and bottom. You can also add on some uh, magnets here if you like to have it stay in place. So I can maybe show you that as well. So here I have some 8mm magnets. I have two on top of each other and I've taken some score tape on. So then we can glue it on here. I like to go a bit from the outsides here. So it gives a bit of room to glue down uh, the pattern paper also two on top of each other here. You can just take one in the middle if you like to. So then take this glue off. Well, not the glue, the <laughs> backing of uh, the tape here. And then we uh, try to fold this uh, straight up here and press down. So 
and then you have it magnetized. So, so then we can maybe make the pocket on uh, the inside here also. So here I have uh, cut eight by a seven and a half, and then you are going to score at uh, three eight and at a an half inch. And here again you can just score at a half inch if you don't want this uh, pocket uh, to build up. So this is cut at eight by seven and a half. So then you score that three eighths of an inch and a uh, half inch on these two sides. Just flip it around and at this side here. So then we can cut off the sides here. So then I go in angle uh, of the outer um, lines here, so. And I cut into here. So, so we can fold it in. to fold it. So. You can see it fold this in here so and that they overlap each other. So and also for the other side. So and uh, now it can be difficult to hold this in place when we glue it uh, down on the page. So I like to just glue this side down first. can decide if you like to have uh, this on this side or if you have, like to have it on the outer side. So I'll take it here. So then we glue it all the way to the end here. And then we can glue the sides down. and it can be good to have a score tool or a long tool to go inside and help it a bit. So I just fold it down and press a bit here. So then you have room for a lot of uh, photos and a uh, large uh, tag inside here also. And here you also can place uh, magnets uh, like we did on the uh, first page here here and also here. So then we can maybe make um, some double uh, flips. So I don't uh, take out uh, the score uh, board here. So just to show you how I am uh, scoring. So this is um, maybe start with uh, this one. So this is cut at six and a half by five and a quarter. And for the second one, you need to cut six and a half by five and one eighth of an inch, or just cut uh, both of them a, a tiny bit smaller than uh, a five and uh, a quarter. So then you need to score at um, a half inch and also at um, three quarter of an inch. And if you again don't like to build it up so much, you can score it at five eight of an inch and three quarter. So then we will fold it with two black score lines. And this I already cut out the second one. So then I will glue them back to back on this one quarter here. And if you build it up just the eight, you glue 
the eighth of an inch together. So then I just try to line them up here. So and hold this for a bit. on the back side here and um, then we are going to take the glue in uh, these two lines here and maybe it can be good to measure a bit here because it's not so easy to glue this uh, straight down so we will take another page and take some marks almost um, I think I will take it at a four inch here. So, and uh, then we can take the glue here. So, I line this up to the four inch mark here. So, see if that fits. Yep. So then you can add on a flap inside if you like to. So this is cut at 6 by 5 and then I scored it at, um, you can score uh, where you like here, how much you like to build it up, but I scored it at 5 8 of an inch and at 3 quarter. So that uh, makes uh, this uh, 1 8 of an inch high here, but you can also make it a quarter inch if you like have it uh, higher up and you can also uh, take a score line here and have this flap on the front that would also be fun so uh, it's just how much you like to build it up so then we can cut off uh, the ends here so then I will take from the second score line in an angle here inside. So here you can go a bit from the end if you like to. So just leave a bit of room here and about uh, the same from the top and bottom. So and then you have two flaps so then you can make one for the other side also. So you can also fold it this way if you build it a bit more up. And you can also add some magnets here if you like to have it stay in place. So then we will make an insert uh, pocket. And I uh, think I will take my scoreboard here again and show you. It's a lot of uh, score lines uh, here. So here I cut out uh, uh, 11 and 7 8 inch by 8 and 3 quarter. And then we are scoring at one and a half on all uh, three sides. So, and here, and uh, on the top for uh, the hinge here. So then we are going to score at um, a half inch and at three quarter. And again, if you don't uh, like this to build up a quarter inch here, you can score it at uh, five eighth of an inch and three quarter. So we're going to cut off some pieces here. So if you like to keep this for a hinge inside you can do that but I will cut it off. So again a bit uh, on the outside of the score line and um, straight on here and a bit on an angle here. And the same for this side here. to cut this up here. And then we can start uh, folding it. So we fold this in here and this side in and this in. So 
and then it's good to take it a bit in an angle here. It's more easy to get it a nice fold. So, and then we can glue this part together. So I just take a bit of on the sides here. So now you see it builds up a quarter of an inch, but you can fold it uh, on an eighth of an inch here, if you like to, if you don't have anything under this flap here. So, keep. so if this is a sort of a secret uh, pocket, then we will have a flap on the top here. And here I cut out uh, a five and three quarter by uh, five and three quarter, and um, this is about so you have to measure a bit, it uh, depends on the score lines, how you fold it and, and so. So, uh, and then I scored it at um, uh, 5 eighths of an inch and uh, 3 quarter. But you can build it up uh, with a half inch here also, but I will just have uh, this uh, 1 eighth of an inch uh, build up on the top. So then we can cut off the corners again here. we need to see how wide it is. So it's a one eighth of an inch about on the outside here, so we cut that off. So we cut it down to um, five and five eighths. See how that will fit. Yeah, that's great. So cut off a bit here again and then fold on the red line here and also on the top here. And fold it back again and glue this part down top. So take this out of the way. And then you follow. I'm not sure you can see the score line here. Then fold it all the way down here. So you go all the way to the top here. fold up this uh, score line here. So now it should meet up, yes. So again you can have some magnets under here to fasten it if you like to. And uh, if you wonder um, uh, how to fit the pattern paper here, you can t take some stripes and uh, cut some stripes that's a bit smaller than one and a half inch and then uh, cut in an angle here. So we just glue the middle parts in and cut in an angle here. Or you can take a pattern paper, and um, uh, I cut it a bit smaller than the page side, size, and then it's great to have this cutting tool here, and then I line it up to almost one and a half here, so and uh, cut down to one and a half inch here on three sides, so then you don't have any um, overlapping from papers. So that's just a suggestion. And uh, then we can, uh, I can show you a couple of more, uh, some easy flaps. I can maybe attach uh, this uh, to a page uh, first, so you can see. So I made a couple of more here, so then we just fold it all the way back again and glue it on the top here. all the way to the end. So. And press well down. So when we fold this up, now you can see it builds up uh, from the pocket here and also from this here. So. so. And then you also can uh, add a uh, uh, some flips here if you like to, or a pocket or anything. So, and then I can show you some easy um, flaps, just plain <laughs> flaps, and they are cut at nine and five eighths by six and a half, and score at a half and 
a three quarter if you like to have something under that builds up. Or you can score at five eight and a three uh, quarter. So I'll show you here. And then here I can take it at five eight and uh, three quarter. So then I cut all the way up to the red line. So fold at the red line. quarter inch line. So then you can attach uh, this to the page and uh, you just have a flip. And here you can also put a little pocket behind like I showed on the first page if you like to. So then you can have a smaller of this, just cut it off a bit and have a one under on the other side that flips uh, the opposite way. And uh, it's uh, the same for a top uh, fold out uh, or fold up flap. So here I cut uh, 8 and 7 8 by 7 and a quarter. And then you can score it at um, 5 8 and 3 quarter or a half inch and uh, 3 quarter if you like to. So it, again, it depends on how much you build up under. So when you fold this over, you have the flap that goes up this way here. And uh, also some of you uh, wonder how I uh, bounded uh, this album together, so I can show you a bit here. So here you can attach uh, the pages, um, uh, all the pages uh, to each other, and maybe show you that first. So I just will do some repositional glue here. So. And uh, here you can bind it all the way together. So Get it to show. <laughs> so almost to the score line here. So, or you can uh, add it here if you build it up a match. So, and then you can continue uh, with the next uh, page the same way. So you can attach it how much your page builds up. And uh, if you are going to have it as an uh, accordion album, I um, took this apart like so and then I use some uh, craft uh, text. It's a uh, really sturdy material. It's a um, um, mix between paper and uh, fabric and that I bought on uh, crafttext.com but uh, I know here in Norway <laughs> anyway you can get it in uh, record uh, shops. So you can cut uh, the spine as wide as you like it to be. So this is cut at six and a half by one and three quarter. So then you can maybe just put some repositional glue here. So then I attach it here and here. So and now this is really wide, but that's because uh, when you uh, have the other pages on the other side that goes on top here so that builds up um, much so that's why I have this uh, white um, binding here and uh, then I also took a strip of uh, craft text on the back side here so that uh, here I took a large uh, piece I just uh, measured how wide it was and uh, glued on a large uh, piece that's six and a half high and also some of you wonder of uh, the binding. So here on, um, it depends on if it's a page under, then you need to build it up a bit, so maybe uh, like so here I scored at uh, three quarter inch. And we take this on here and the other page uh, folds over, we need that room. So maybe three. Uh, one and three quarter here. So, but just measure how much uh, you add on your pages. If you build it up with a lot of uh, flowers and so, uh, you need a lot of uh, room here. So, and then I used some foam board for the bottom part. I glued uh, three of these uh, together. It's a quarter inch high, and then I attach this a quarter inch from each side here. I made it a quarter inch um, larger and these measurements you can find on my blog so I have a link below. So I can take some repositional glue here as well. So, then I'm going to 
brush at about one and a quarter here. So, I glued this down. And the same I did for the other side here. Use the same binding, but uh, not so high here. So maybe show you can take this on here. So. marked around uh, one uh, and a quarter inch around so I knew I got it uh, straight. So then this uh, can fold this way and uh, this can fold over this way and then the next page attached. So I used four pages for this album over this way and this on top over this way again. So um, I hope uh, this uh, tutorial was helpful and that you maybe can use some ideas. So uh, this you can make in many fun ways. Uh, just uh, play with the uh, with the paper and uh, score and make flips and folds out set uh, whatever you like to. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, look below the video. There you will find uh, the link to my blog where I answer all new questions. So take care, everyone, and have fun creating. Bye bye.